getting bigger and bigger. Whether it's your television or even your smartphone, it looks like big really is the way to go. That's right, and especially with television sets today, now they're thinner, they're lighter, and they're much larger in size. And of course, there's so much to offer there. That's right, whether it's movies or sports, you get a larger than life experience. Here are some of the best options. The market is flooded with plasmas, LCDs and LEDs. With the LEDs dominating the space, that's because they offer the highest contrast ratios and they come in the slimmest form factors. Features like high definition and 3D has pretty much become standard now. Panels have got cheaper and screen sizes have got bigger. Everything has improved over the years, but in pursuit of slimmer designs, sound quality has suffered. This is where the Bose Video Wave 2 comes in. This one is a 55 inch LED backlit HD TV. You can connect up to six devices through the center console via HDMI and other ports. But the most unique feature of this television is the sound setup. As you can notice, it's much thicker than other flat screen TVs. That's because it's got an entire surround system packed in the back. Now it's not as good as a dedicated 5.1 setup and not much different from a soundbar effect. And for 5 lakhs, one can avoid it for all the practical reasons, but for anyone who wants to avoid the wires and the speakers, it's an option. Going up the order in screen sizes, LED HD TVs from brands like Sony, Samsung and LG go up to 85 inches. Samsung is going to launch the S9 in the market anytime now. This 85 inch LED has an Ultra HD resolution which is 4 times sharper than Full HD. This one comes with a quad core processor and a very interesting design. It has a frame that holds the TV and also has concealed speakers along the edges of the frame. Both LG and Sony introduced 84 inch Ultra HD TVs. Now these offer a much sharper resolution and hence come at a price. It will take a couple of years before HD becomes obsolete and 4K content becomes available. But if you want to be future proof and money is of no concern then you can check them out. Now the largest that we've seen is a 150 inch plasma from Panasonic and that too came at a price tag of 5 crore rupees. Now if you're a home theatre buff or enjoy watching movies or even hosting friends for the weekend for the big game then you've got to get yourself a projector. Nothing gets as immersive as this, a massive screen that equals a cinema experience going up to sizes that no LED can match. Projectors can go up to much larger screen sizes anywhere from 30 inches to over 300 inches. They too have become cheaper and now offer HD resolutions and 3D capability. Epson and BenQ lead the market and have options for different price points. BenQ's W750 and Epson's TW550 are the entry-level options. Both the projectors offer 720p resolution and 1080p-1080p-1080p-1080p-1080p-1080p-1080p-1080p-1080p-1080p-1080p-1080p-1080p-1080p-1080p-1080p-1080p-1080p-1080p-1080p-1080p-1080p-1080p-1080p-1080p-
with a projector, you will need a good projection screen. It's very important since these screens absorb the image thrown from the projector. There are regular options and special ones with gain, which makes the image much brighter. Screens can also be fixed to a wall or can be rolled up through a motor. The Black Diamond from Screen Innovations is a good option. For a 100 inch fixed screen, the price starts at 1 lakh rupees, going all the way to over 5 lakhs for the same size but higher gain value. So you can get a good projector with a 100 inch screen within 5 to 10 lakh rupees, depending on the setup. If it's regular TV viewing, then an LED would be a better option. But for movie buffs who want larger than life pictures, it's the projector for you. Nothing beats a projector, Vikram. That's really as big as it gets. That's true. We'll take a quick break now on this edition of Aspire. But when we're coming back, we're looking at art galleries, telling you how the experience of going to a contemporary art gallery has changed for the better. That's coming up. <laughs>